So, Gen 3A and Gen 3B engines. These are the two new 2.0 TSI engines in the market. The Gen 3 A engine, which is this one on the RS245, is significantly different than the Gen 3 B over there. This one is meant primarily for power and is a much lower compression motor than the one on the Tiguan there, which is a Gen 3 B, which is a higher compression, made for efficiency. And the efficiency figures of that one are far better than this one. But then efficiency is not the goal over here. So let's, with that in mind, let's quickly start removing the engine covers and seeing what's underneath the covers, which will tell us a lot more of the story of these two motors, which are both two liter displacement, but are extremely different in the way they work. Okay. Now that the engine covers are off, this is what the Gen 3A motor looks like, which is a 245 horsepower PS motor. And this is what the Gen 3B motor looks like, which is the 190 horsepower motor. So, straight up the top, you can see that the oil filter filler, oil filler is higher. The intake cam is variable over here. These are the cam actuators. So they, they are, I think, the valve of the cam actuators. So they've got variable valve timing on the intake side in the Tiguan motor, whereas on the RS245 motor, there's no intake actuator over here, but there's the exhaust side actuator, the valve actuators, I think, or the, or the variable timing actuators, and that's the biggest, big difference between the two motors. The other thing that you can see straight up is that there's no mass airflow sensor over here. So this motor primarily works for the ma mass air pressure sensors. One here, one down there, I think there's one more somewhere. I'm not very sure about that. And whereas this motor works off of mass and map combination, like there's the mass air flow sensor over here, and there's the mass air pressure sensor over here. And there should be another mass air pressure sensor on the turbo inlet, on the intercooler to throttle body pipe. That's usually where another one is. In terms of anything else, the coil packs look the same on these. This is 06L905110H coil pack on the Gen 3B and on the Gen 3A it is, no it's actually different, it's 06J905110N so 110N versus 110H and this is 06L so there is a difference in the coil pack also between the two motors what that difference is, I'm not very sure of. Again, I've yet to do my detailed research on these motors. So, this is just a first look. So now let's look at the turbo. The turbocharger over here, if you can notice, I'll just try to zoom in over here. That says an IHI turbo. So this is the IHI IS20 turbo. It is the same number as the RS245 and, I mean RS230. Um, there may be some revisions, I'm not very really sure what the exact revisions are. And the intakes is uh, going over here. No mass sensor I discussed before. Now let's go into the Tiguan. Tiguan, the intake is completely different. The turbo is over there. It's a much smaller unit. Visibly, it's a lot smaller than the one in the other car. It doesn't say who makes it. No, it doesn't have the highest. IHI stamp on it, so I'm sure it's not an IHI turbo. It's actually a very, very different turbocharger. Even the exhaust side of the turbo is very different. Downpipe looks to be very similar. Yeah, downpipe looks similar. So that's another difference between the two engines. The head, as you can see, is completely different head. The actuators are on, on the intake side over here and over there, it's the exhaust side. The high pressure fuel pump, which is this fuel pump is different over here. This seems like a lower flowing fuel pump than the one on the 245. This is a big fuel pump, like this is huge. So the entire head is different because for sure. The fuel pump is bigger over here. This is a very small fuel pump compared to what we see over there. Uh, what else visibly can we see? The throttle body is here. This is a... 06K133 
zero six two a n throttle body. So let's see what this one is. This is zero six f one three three zero six two a g. So yeah, the throttle body is also different. This is a different throttle body than what you get on the RS on the Tiguan motor over here. Uh, visibly, that's I guess that's the only difference you can make out. This is the difference. This is the oil filler that will raise on the on the Tiguan, whereas the oil filler is actually seated right on the on the head over here. So that's one difference. What else can we see visibly over here? Okay, so this is another interesting thing. This is the brake master reservoir, and there is no heat shield over here. It sits very close to the turbo exhaust over there. So this does not have a heat shield on the master master reservoir over here. Whereas I noticed this in the Tiguan the other day that the Tiguan actually has a shield. There's a heat shield on the turbo on the brake master reservoir and that should be a good thing if we can find it and fit it on the RS because this the turbo exhaust is right here and it generates a lot of heat which gets transferred to your brake fuel reservoir over here so this looks like it is held on by I think there's just one screw over there this, this which is held on and let me see if there's a option of putting that screw Yes, so there is there is a port over here. That screw can go on here. So that's a good thing to actually take off. So maybe I'll get a I'll find the part number of this metal piece over here, which looks like a heat shield, and we can actually swap it over to the RS two two forty five. That should provide a little bit of extra heat resistance to my brake fluid on the track. That's a very interesting thing. Okay, so engine mounts look the same. That the engine mount of the car yeah the engine mount looks more or less the same i'm sure there will be some part number differences because it's much of softer bushing than the rs but ideally on most wags it's the same excuse the noise in the background that's my gardener mowing the lawn so yeah that's the thing the intake air box seems a lot smaller here one two three four five five row over here this is the air box on the tiguan and on the RS245, yes, one, two, three, four, five row, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the way it's positioned, it looks smaller, but yeah, they are actually the same size. I guess I was wrong on that one. What else? Visibly, the PCV valve, which is this one, this looks more or the same. This is Volkswagen Audi made by Kangst as the pressure release valve back end going from there to a turbo let's check that out over here this is also no this is made by Voco over here I mean it looks the same part though don't see any physical differences on this one the turbo pipe is going back in the turbo yeah so no the PCB looks the same So the other thing that you notice is that this is on the RS245 motor, Gen 3A motor. This one does not have the MPI port fuel injection rail that you find in the 230. So you have the mounts for the port injectors over here, the four mounts, and you have the mounts for the rail which you can plug in over here. But it's not there for the factory because this car comes with much higher capacity direct injection injectors and a bigger fuel pump and a bigger in tank fuel pump from the golf r which is not there so should be easy to tune but the mpi does have its benefits in terms of helping prevent valve uh, gunk build up and this is not there over here although this car does have the provision for it so you can actually mount by a by a mpi kit and mount it over here without too much of a problem Obviously, you tune the car for it and wire the M MPI injector separately, but that's a different thing. That's, a, that's obviously expected. Whereas on the Tiguan, Tiguan does have the MPI fuel rail. This is the MPI fuel rail that's coming over here. 
and this MPI fuel rail has four injectors sitting on top of it. So this is actually a MPI car. So this has the direct injection as well as the MPI, which is very interesting. I think that's where the efficiency also comes from because DI, although it's more cleaner, but does have efficiency issues with bigger injectors. And that's why I'm getting such better efficiency numbers from this car than I'm getting on the 245. So yeah, more or less, in a nutshell, that's it. The valve covers are more or less, and the engine covers are same. I think the Volkswagen is nicer because of this gloss TSI over here. But eventually the <coughs> covers will come off once I start modding these cars because these do tend to get a lot hotter in our climate and it's not a good idea to keep these covers on all the time. So, so now the main yeah. question, can I tune this motor in the superb Kodiak and Tiguan to the 245 horsepower level of the RS245? The answer is simply no, you can't. You can do a stage one map on this car which will bump up the power to give or take 230 to 40 horsepower. But anything beyond that would be risking the engine. Primarily because it's such a high compression motor and adding more turbo pressure to a comp high compression motor, especially given our fuel conditions, is pretty risky. I mean, I have lost a motor on the BMW doing the exact same thing, so I can tell you that it won't work. There are currently very few maps available for the Gen 3B motor, but hopefully soon more maps will come in from other vendors. But until then, I would say stick to the stock setup for now. It's powerful enough. Eventually, when there's more maps available, then you can obviously get a stage one tune for different fuel conditions. But beyond that, would be risking this engine quite a bit. So hopefully that answers all your questions.